Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to do a review of the Manage WP platform and show you just how quick and easy it is to integrate with all your WordPress installations here at NameHero. Let me give a quick background to about uh, how I found this plugin and why I feel like it's so beneficial. So if you find yourself running more than one WordPress website, which a lot of our customers do, you find that it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to keep every one of your websites updated with the latest plugins, the latest themes, and the latest version of WordPress, and also keeping your sites backed up because, of course, you want to have a backup um, at least once a, once a week, maybe once a day even, um, in case something happens to your site so you can restore it. And you want an off-site backup. You don't want um, a backup just on the server. Of course, we do that for you um, at, at Name Hero, but you, you want to have your own because, of course, it's your site. So you want to have um, your own backups and stuff. So I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to get set up with the Manage WP platform, and I'll also highlight their features. Right now on your screen, though, is our WordPress hosting packages, and if you don't have one already, you can um, sign up for one, and um, I will be demonstrating using these, this um, Web Hosting Plus package, which is allows unlimited um, websites or un unlimited WordPress installs, so we have an, I know we have a lot of affiliate marketers that choose this one. We have a lot of agencies that choose this one as well, um, so they can have more than one WordPress site um, in their hosting. Okay, so what I want to do is um, I'm going to show you how to set up um, a brand new um, managed um, WordPress site, and then as well as manage your existing one. So the first thing I want to do is log into our Name Hero account. So I'm just going to log into my demo account. And then, of course, I've got my two-factor off on. I always like to demonstrate this because I feel like it's so important that you have this on your account. And I really recommend that all of our customers do um, use that. It's a huge uh, security bonus that we have here at Name Hero. So now I'm going to navigate to my uh, account, and I'm going to go for my... Um, we're going to go to Resell Talk here. We're going to click on cPanel. So inside of cPanel, this is where we manage and install our WordPress installs. Okay, this is where we set it all up. So I'm going to go down here to WordPress. And I'm going to get it ready to do a new installation because I want to show you how to integrate Manage WP from a brand new install. So now let's head over to Manage WP. Okay, so this is their main site right here. And, and what I like about them is um, it's super easy and simple to get signed up with them. Literally, all you have to do is enter your email address in here. And as soon as you do that, then you'll go through the step-by-step -step process to set up your site. So you enter your email address, and then next you'll enter your name and then your website, and then you're brought to their dashboard. It's really that simple. It took me um, three minutes, I think, to set up my account. Um, and on this blog post that I'm going to do with this video, I'll show you some screenshots um, to getting that set up. Again, the best part about ManageWP.com is it's free. Um, now you say, well, Ryan, how do they make money? Well, I wondered that myself. Um, once you do get signed up, you're going to have access to the dashboard. And so you can see I set up um, one site, which is my name, Hero Blog, Startup Hero. Um, and once you click on here, you'll have your dashboard. And you'll see that some of these plugins are premium plugins, such as their uptime monitor. It's only a dollar a month, so you can click here and activate it. So that's how they're making money is by upselling their premium um, features, which the cool thing is they have all these features that are free, so they have plenty of features to get you started. But if you want to um, add something else, you can. So let's look at this dashboard really quick before we go into adding a new site. Um, let's just look at um, the features of Managed WP so you can make sure you want to use it. So then again, this is a Name Hero blog, and I just set it up on here. So, uh, of course, um, anything that I review, I, I use it myself. Um, that way I'm not just reviewing stuff um, for the heck of it. I want to use stuff that I actually use. Now, I did just get this installed today, so it's probably not, it's probably not um, getting all my stats and stuff in here yet. But you can see 43 minutes ago I ran my first backup. So this is... In my opinion, the most valuable thing about ManageWP is their backups. So let's click View Backups and let's talk about this for a second. So you can see that if I need to restore my site, I can just click right here and restore it. If I want to clone it, I can clone it. And this is all free. Um, it, it backed up everything. And, and I think they have, a they have a file limit. So if there's, I believe it's 100,000 files or maybe 250,000 files. But they have a limit um, to what they allow for the free site. Um, and then if you go over that, then you have to pay for backups. But again, I think most sites are going to fit that. Um, they're not going to go over that. So you can see all, this, all these details about my backup, what version version I'm using, the size of my backup, the theme that's active, how many plugins I've got, how many posts I've got, how many approved comments. 
Um, so it's just really, really cool how they have all this set up. And you can see I can select my date and go back there. So that's that alone is worth using Managed WP. I mean, it's free and it it's really easy to set up um, for just the backup. So again, um, the updates is another thing. Now, if, for me, for just one blog, updates aren't too hard, right? You just log in WP Admin and take care of them. But if you have multiple sites, you're going to notice plugins, themes, and WordPress. When these get out of date, this is when we see sites get exploited or hacked. Uh, this is the number one reason for people getting suspended at Name Heroes because they didn't update their site. So it's as simple as clicking update all if you have an update and it will go through and update them. If we scroll down here, you'll see um, the optimization here. This is something else I really like. You can see um, the spam comments. There's 138. I can click here and optimize these. So basically, it'll go in and clean those up. Post revisions. There's 288 post revisions. I can optimize them. Um, boom. I can get rid of those and clean those up. So that stuff that um, comment spam and optimizations, that stuff... Um, or, or post revisions that just eats your memory and resources. So instead of having to download another plugin to to clean that up, it does it right here inside of their dashboard. Now my analytics aren't displaying because again I did just get it set up. So um, I'm going to give this a 24 hour period and see what it comes in at. And then um, if I'm happy with it, I'll probably connect my analytics so I can um, get a little bit better. You can see they've got a note section here. So if you want to just add some notes, like um, you know maybe I need to um, set up. AdWords campaign um, for the blog. And I can just save a note. So just, uh, you know, click place, you can save a note. So I think that's pretty beneficial. And then, of course, the comments. If you have any pending comments, you can approve them from there. So that's the dashboard there. Um, before we dig too much deeper into this, though, let me show you how to add a site to this. Let me show you how easy. So we'll click here, and it says, um, add a new website. Please enter your WordPress homepage URL. So let's set up a new WordPress so I can show you how easy this is. It's actually really, really awesome. So we'll use reselltalk.com. Um, I'm going to install it in just the subfolder WP. Um, if you want it on your root, remember you'd want to delete this, and, and that would um, put it in the root domain, meaning when you go to resell talk, you would load your WordPress install. But I want it in the subfolder, so I'm going to keep it there. I'm going to leave most of all this default, but I do want to have a stronger username and pass, obviously. Um, admin and pass would be horrible. So I'm going to copy this, and then we're just going to call this resell talk one. So it's a little bit different um, than the site name. So I'm just going to keep it default because I want everything um, just a regular install. It just takes a second to run here. Um, so what I will do is go back here to manage um, WP, and this is where I'm going to enter that URL. So you can see here's my WordPress URL. So let's enter it here, HTTPS, www.resaletalk.com slash WP, add website. This takes a second here to get added. Okay, now you have to enter your WordPress credentials, your admin credentials, to activate uh, Manage WP. Now, if you're like me and you're like, well, I don't know about giving someone my WP admin, well, you can look. They don't they don't store it, and so they've got their security policy. Now, if you're still paranoid, you can install their worker plugin. Um, you can manually do it by clicking down here. Um, I'm a, I use WordFence on all my. Um, on my, on my um, WordPress installation, so it tells me who's logging into my admin area. So I'm just going to give them my stuff um, because if they resell it or they give it out, then I'm going to know because I use WordFence. Um, but I don't think the Managed WP is doing that. They're not in business um, for giving out um, credentials, so I do trust them. So I click Add Website, and it just takes a second here for them. They're actually, when I input these credentials, they're actually installing that plugin, their worker plugin on my site, um, which allows them to, to work with everything. So, and you can see now we've successfully added the site. So we could add another website. If we have another WordPress um, install we want to add, we could do it here. Or we could simply go to the website dashboard. And so that's what we can do here. Now, there's one thing that's important to mention um, when you're inserting your um, credentials in there. If for some reason you get an error that it did not connect, um, there's two things. One, we sometimes have to whitelist manage WP's IPs. So we've already done that on most all of our servers. But if there's another one that we've missed, you can always let us know. But there's one thing that you can do to fix this is you can go into cPanel and disable mod security because we've also seen that have an effect. So all you do is type in mod and you can see mod security. And you can see it's disabled for your domains. Um, 
and you would just click disabled. So I, I just enabled it, but then you can disable it and you can disable it while you install it and then you can go back and re-enable it. But that's one of the reasons why it would not connect. But um, so keep that in mind as you're adding all your sites to manage WP. If something, you get the red box that says it doesn't connect, um, that's one quick and easy way that you get it fixed um, with this at Name Hero. Okay, so now I have a dashboard for um, my other WordPress. You can see just the same as the Name Hero one. I've got my updates, my backups, my uptime monitor if I want it, um, optimization, everything's already clean, um, and we're all set. And, and so just the same as my other one. So I can click on websites, and you can see now I've got um, the demo blog. I've got Name Hero. So I can keep adding all my WordPress installs right here and manage all the plugins, manage all the backups, manage all my comments. And then if I want to get more and start adding um, plugins, they've got that as well. So let's go back in here and look at Startup Hero, and I want to go through um, just a couple more of the features that Manage WP offers. <clears throat> Um, one, they've got the, the site admin, so if you do want to go into your WP admin, you can log in securely um, just by clicking on that. Um, you can also go right into um, the settings here, so you can see um, there, there's just um, a couple um, of the settings for the actual account. Um, we can go through, of course, the dashboard. We looked at the backups. We can look at the plugins. You can see the plugins that I'm running on, um, on Name Heroes blog. Um, so I, here I can deactivate. I can delete plugins. Um, I can look at the inactive ones. So it's like I can manage everything from Manage WP. I can look at the themes. You can see I've got the Smart um, Passive Income Pro theme, um, Genesis Framework, so I can make sure all that's updated from there. Um, I can go into Users. If I want to add a new user, I can do that from in here. Um, and then now there's um, other features. So there's security. So you can see they've got um, a nice little video tutorial of their security stuff. Um, and it says free and premium versions of this are available. So you can learn more and then activate it if you'd like. Um, and I think um, each one of these with the star, it's a premium add-on. So if we talk back at the beginning of the video, we say, well, how's Managed WP make money? You know, why do they ha offer all this? Well, that's why. They, they have premium um, plugins. So it's a really smart um, idea if you ask me because they give you the really – good meat and potatoes for free but then if you want to start adding on stuff then you can um, add stuff on so just performance um, uptime monitor I'm a huge pingdom fan but this might you know might be well if you, especially if you have a lot of sites um, SEO um, this is pretty cool because it actually will um, look at your um, rankings for your blog and show you where you are I've got a client report, so um, you know if you have a lot of clients, and so that's something else we'll, we'll get to. And then they also have a white label option. So say you're managing sites for a bunch of clients, and you want them to be able to log in. Well, they've got white label options, which is pretty cool because then you don't they don't see Manage WP. Um, then of course there's um, some more information um, about your your site that you can go under here, such as um, you know what PHP version's running, um, you know what's the site IP, and, and all that good stuff about your server that you're on. Okay, so let's click on clients. Um, you can see this is cool because we could add a client in here if we want someone else to be able to log in, um, to, to be able to log in and access this. We can add that. Um, then, of course, we've got um, just back into the add-ons here that we can add on to it. So. Um, in a nutshell, that's the Managed WP platform. Um, in my opinion, the biggest benefits are the backups. Everyone needs offsite backups. That's in the fact that that's in there and it's um, point and click restore. Um, it's awesome. I mean, really, I can't get over um, you know how helpful and useful that is. Again, the updates. That's another thing that I can't tell you. When if you have 20, 30 WordPress sites, then you already know you've got to have a solution to go in and keep those updated. Um, and you don't want to have to battle with all these scripts that you have to install because um, in our support desk at Name Hero, we see a lot of this. We see third-party scripts that people have to install to manage multiple sites, and um, not always the scripts don't always work. The support's kind of um, subpar on some of them. Um, and so this kind of eliminates all that. And uh, Manage WP, from my experience, they've got a really good support team as well. They're 24 hours a day. We've actually worked a little bit with their team here at Name Hero, uh, just making sure we have all their IPs listed, um, whitelisted and all that, so our customers can use it with ease. So that's my review of Manage WP. I highly recommend it. If you're using WordPress, highly recommend setting your stuff up with these guys. They've got their stuff together, and really kudos to them to producing such a great platform. Um, but you can see, super simple and easy to get set up. Really, any of our um, customers of all skill levels can use it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us um, via telephone, live chat, or in our support desk, and we'd be more than happy to help you get set up with Managed WP. Um, and, and also, we're available to address any questions you may have. But thanks a bunch, everyone, for watching.
refreshing. Enjoy uh, managing multiple WordPress websites with ease and make sure you enable those backups. Thanks, everyone.